everyone, today we're going to see how to replicate this HTML email from Headspace. Their designs usually have a simple and clean layout that they follow. It's really really nice and it's definitely always on brand. To replicate this email I'm going to use B, an easy drag and drop online email builder that you can find at the link below. Um, before jumping into the editor, let's analyze the email a little bit. You see, we probably have different rows to design and each of them have different content where you can find images, text and call to actions. We're not going to see how to make a footer in this video, but if you want, let me know in the comment below. So let's go to B. We are now in the pro version where we can create our project and then our first message from a blank template. First of all, let's jump into the setting and adjust the width, get a default link color as well as background color and content background color too. After that, we can start with empty rows. Let's add four of them. And then we can start adding the content. In the first row, we are going to add the Headspace logo. So simply drag and drop it inside the content box. We can adjust the width and the padding. When you have an image inside an email, always remember to add an alternate text and a URL if needed. Let's change the content color with this bright yellow and then let's design the second row. This row has only text. We can copy and paste it. Then make some changes. We can now add the third content block that is going to be the main image. So we actually forgot the call to action, so let's add it right now. We have the button content box where you can change colors, text and we can add border radius as well. So let's see if it looks similar. Our call to action is actually smaller, so let's make it more visible by adding some content padding. In order to not have these two white spaces, we can make the content box yellow and then eliminate the padding on the bottom. Let's now add the second part of the text.
and then the second part of the email. In order to do this, we need to add other rows, the ones that have two columns for the content. And add an image and text on the right. Let's drag and drop the image and copy and paste the text. As we did before, we can adjust the width and then the padding. Let's do some adjustment and then copy and paste the row to easily create the other tools. We can now add the final call to action and we can duplicate the button we created first. We can then change the content background color and that's it. In the original Headspace email there is this footer. Then as you can see there are a few details to correct. I already have done it. Uh, the footer instead is in my saved rows, so I simply drag and drop it into the message. Let's now give a name to my message. and exit and we are going to see our email in the browser to compare it with the original one looks cool right so thank you very much and if you like this video do not forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel see you bye bye